Well, hey guys, it's Viejo here, and it is the first week of June in 2024, and this is uh, chapter 11 of our uh, shooting part of this uh, 45 ACP 230 grain round nose bullet uh, test that we're doing. Um, if you're just uh, coming on board here, um, there's a link in the description box to the playlist for this series and I recommend that you watch at least the first two of those um, so that you'll have a better idea of what it is we're doing here but the basics are this if we look at uh, Richard Lee's second edition modern reloading uh, manual go to any data section that you want for any caliber and there's going to be a list of bullets um, and a whole bunch of powders and load data Okay, but you don't know what bullets those are, and that's because Lee does not do any of that testing themselves. They've gleaned that information from other printed sources, and sometimes you can figure out what bullet they're talking about, and other times you can't. And so we're looking at that, and oftentimes we go, well, man, I, I have this bullet. Can I just use this bullet and pick one of those data lines and use it um, for my bullet? And the answer is kind of, well, maybe. Um, so what I did is I've got 12 and, and I may do a 13th one uh, bullet, some cast and some plated and some uh, jacketed. Uh, but this is mostly really about the cast bullets. And uh, I selected a powder charge from one of those data lines. Okay, And it happened to be that uh, I've actually shot all of these bullets before and I knew pretty much what I was doing when I picked that powder charge. And I won't tell you exactly what it is, but it's more than the starting load and less than the ending load. Okay, so it's it's in there in between somewhere. Um, and again, I've shot all these. I know what they were going to do, or at least reasonably well. But we use that same powder charge throughout, just so we could say, yeah, well, if you have your bullet, what happens if you use this... Um, this powder charge where you get the results that we showed. Yes, and you probably not, but uh, you might be able to still do it safely. So uh, today we're looking at the um, extreme uh, 45 230 round nose. This is a plated bullet. Um, again, I've shot many of them, 230 grains. Let's come in here and look at the, at the data that we got. Um, for that particular round and uh, these have all been fired out of the same firearm they're all loaded on the same press with the same dies with the same charge okay but it turns out because each one of them is different from the from the others the ogives are all different the length of the bullet itself is different okay and they all have end up having to be loaded at slightly different cartridge overall lengths and Lee gives you a couple of ideas for cartridge overall length. I think there's three different ones listed in the 230 round nose lead section. So which one do you use? Well, we talked about that throughout the series. You've got to work that out for yourself. So let me show you where we are uh, with this bullet today. All right, here we go today with the extreme 45 230 round nose. This is a plated bullet, 230 grains. The length of the bullet itself is 0.645, kind of scroll up and down the list you can see these are all a little bit different okay the overall length for the cartridge that we loaded this at was 1.260 the velocity with that charge came in at 781 almost exactly what the jacketed bullet from everglades did although you know they were loaded very close to the same length Got a different standard deviation for this one. I'm not sure why that was, okay? But look how much slower our jacketed and plated rounds are doing compared to what our cast bullets were doing. And that 825 to 850 feet per second was what I was targeting the powder charge that I used uh, to give us because that's about the uh, velocity that I like to see in a 230 grain round nose bullet out of a 45 ACP. Okay, so again, 781 feet per second, 
standard deviation of only 12 and a half, not particularly good. Okay, again, you know, all loaded the same way, shot out of the same gun under similar conditions. I didn't shoot these all on the same day, um, obviously. Um, and this one performed okay. Uh, these uh, values that we're getting for the plate and the jackets are too slow, in, in my opinion, um, for a 230 grain bullet. I, I'd like to see them go faster than that, but that's just me. Um, <clears throat> we're going to go take a look at the at the range footage, which is uh, it's meager today. I've been having trouble with my GoPro. Um, it it freezes. The video it keeps this, the audio going, but it freezes the video after just a few seconds. I'll, I'll put in what it did capture for the um, video, and it's the camera that's on me, so it's you know we're more interested in what's happening down range anyway. Um, so what I'll do is I'll play it as the video portion of me shooting right up until where it freezes. Then we'll just get rid of that and bring the target camera up. Uh, full screen for you to see what happened. So I, for all of these, I've shot two magazine fulls, two seven round mags, so 14 rounds total go down range. Okay, and we can we can see uh, what happened. And you'll see the, the target there. I, I shot okay. I, I threw one away. Okay, I had one, and I don't remember now as I'm yapping which, which one that was, if it was the first one. Oftentimes it is with me with a clean barrel, cold barrel. But um, uh, let's go ahead and, and take a look at that and see how it did. We have the extreme 45 230. So what I think is figure out what fashion we do the best. Tell me what it is. When I saw I'll order some. Here's the extreme, 14 rounds there. We had one that we tossed away. Typical Viejo, right? But other than that, not too bad. Okay, I, I think you'd agree if you've been watching all of these that that's pretty typical of the performance of most of these. Some have done a little better than the others. A couple of them did worse than the others, but uh, this one wasn't bad. It was about average for the way I shoot, I thought. Anyway, um, uh, I think that uh, we'll uh, bring this to a close. We're almost done with this. Uh, I've got one more uh, plated bullet to show you and one from Acura Bullets um, up there in Idaho. Um, I've got, uh, still have a couple boxes of their bullets. I got them pretty inexpensively on sales and whatnot. So um, they're relatively inexpensive to, to load. So we'll do that one and um, I had mentioned that I had one more cast bullet, and that's because I uh, um, it was a, an old Kramer mold that I got that fits in this category, and I haven't decided whether they're going to add that in or not. It would be kind of after the fact, but um, I got that mold after I started the project. But uh, I did cast some up and shoot them. I just don't know if I want to include them. You guys let me know if you want to see how that one um, performed next to all the rest of the stuff. But I think that'll do it. So uh, for now, from the Viejo bench... That's all she wrote. <laughs>